Peace and power, peace and power. Tranquility over you and all of your houses. Give me a second. One second, please. Okay. I'm just trying to set the tone. My apologies. I know I'm usually a little more prepared than this. One, two, one, two. <laughs> okay. So, hoping everyone had a beautiful, beautiful weekend. <laughs> Trusting and believing that uh, whenever this video should so happen to find you. Okay, we need to tuck this. We need to tuck this. I'm really trying not to do any edits and I wanted to get this out while it's fresh on my mind. Oftentimes, especially if you're a parent, as you're raising and rearing, guiding your children, your life experiences and lessons you 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 try to bestow upon them because you speaking with I just talked him up. Let me see what he needs. Hold on. I have to answer his question. Okay. You try to bestow the wisdom. If if you could speak to the younger you. Oh, if you knew then the things that you know now. All you can do is tell them. You lead by example. You know. But as far as your experiences from back in the day, all you could do is tell them. And it got me thinking. Sometimes. For the most part, most of us. You try to be kind. You try to be nice. And you don't always get back what you give. You just don't. You don't always get that back. Me, I am not reactionary. I don't give knee-jerk responses. I don't know if that's a Gemini thing or not. Things marinate. I take time to let things marinate. Oh, we can't do that. Copyright, copyright. Oh, no. Yeah, let's uh, let's not do that. Anyway, take time to let things marinate. So sometimes there can be an offense done. And... You try to find the brighter side. You try to find the good in people and situations. But when you sit still long enough and allow spirit to speak, he's messaging me again. I'll be right back. Let me make sure he's cool. Okay, I'm back. He's cool. <laughs> All right. When you sit still and allow spirit to speak, revelations come. And when you realize that something just might not be for you or good for you and yours as a whole, it doesn't matter what you've allowed for how long correction is needed. Sometimes you can give an explanation. Sometimes no. Sometimes you just need to sever or uncoil certain things. If, if you know that you know that you know something will be detrimental to you. 
in mind, body, and or spirit. It doesn't matter what you've allowed in the past. Whether the past is years ago, months ago, days ago, hours, minutes, seconds, you get the point. It doesn't matter. When you come to the realization, hey, it's not cool. It's not cool. Fix it. Fix it. Whether that's removing yourself from the equation or removing um, someone else. This thing just isn't going to work for me. Okay, so you know what? Maybe that means I don't need mood music. How about that? See, simple fix. It doesn't matter what you've done in the past or what you've been known to do. If it's not working, <laughs> fix it. Yeah. But um observation instead of knee-jerk reactions. Prove, prove to be more beneficial. Optics matter. And they can be deceiving. If you don't take the time to step back, step out of the picture, you can't see the entirety, frame and all, when you're right in the middle of it. So sometimes you have to step back and watch and observe. What happens when you push your chair back from the table? You know how when you go to a restaurant and usually the waiter or the waitress, they'll come and refill your water, tend to your tea, coffee, whatever, Make sure you okay. And you know what it feels like when you're not checked on. How do you feel? Do you tend to either not tip or give less of a tip? Or you'll tip regularly, but you know, okay, I didn't care for that service. I don't like how I felt. I'm not going back there. Same, same thing. Same thing. So, as you go to and fro, please don't allow yourself to be backed in a corner or feel like you have no recourse, no way of escape, however you want to word it. It doesn't matter what you usually do. How do you feel? How do you feel? And we're not talking about, oh, getting in your feelings. Well, we're, we're not talking about surface level silly stuff. Your gut is God. And you know when something, you know, everyone has it. Everyone has it. Okay. Don't ignore that still voice. Remembering your why, remembering who you are, and what you deserve. First of all, if you don't feel that you're worthy of the best, if you're not worthy, you don't think you're worthy of quality, that's the starting point right there. You know how you want to be treated. And how you want to do life, do business. And sometimes when you're when you're dealing with people, a lot of times you're not even dealing with just that one person. If they're if they're part of a company of a team, or sometimes it could be a their their partner, their life partner, or something like that. The person by themselves is fine, but when you have those external 
energies bringing their stuff. Now I'm talking about business. Bringing their stuff into the equation. And hidden agendas. That could totally screw up a good deal. Murder it. <laughs> Dead it. <laughs> so, you know, um, choose wisely. Don't be so hard on yourself. Don't tie your stomach up in knots. Um, forcing anything. Because you don't want to hurt someone's feelings. But you're afraid to say what you need, what you want. Or afraid not to say and just walk away. It's okay. It's okay. So with that. Mm, be the light to those who need to feel the warmth of your shine. And know when to be darkness to those who need to feel the cool of your shade in all things there is light you be that illumination my name is Trinia Murphy and I am Ponder Quan Ponder Quan the writer the Ranubian